was a good thing they took cover in some of those tents because it was a little drizzly today. Mm -hmm. I mean, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, it stayed, we saw that heavy rainfall this morning and mm -hmm. then we saw that drizzle kind of continuing then into much of this early afternoon. This evening now we are enjoying some dry conditions here finally, but it certainly has been a wet week here across the region. Here's a look at uh, rain totals from the past 24 hours. Zembrota uh, coming in with a two and a quarter inch of rainfall. Mary from Zembrota sending in that rain total today. Here at KDDC, we did pick up 1.4 inches of rainfall uh, since uh, last night as well. At Rochester International Airport, not too far behind, 1.38 inches of rainfall over in Austin, picking up uh, one. 0.2 inches of rainfall in Saratoga, Iowa coming in at 1.1 inches of rainfall. So a lot of heavy rainfall across the area. A lot of folks maybe woke up to a little bit of some thunder this morning as well. And you may be wondering, well, why is there a difference between the rain totals from the Rochester area and kind of in southeastern Minnesota to the Zambroda area? Well, as we kind of look out at the estimated rain totals here across the area, we did see a very narrow band of some heavy rainfall that kind of stretched from the northern part of Wabasha County back through Goodhue County and into Rice County as well. And Zambroda happening to be right there in that band of heavy rainfall. So that's kind of why we're seeing a difference in those totals from Zambroda to South Rochester. So uh, kind of interesting to kind of see where those heavier bands of rainfall kind of set up and just how much rain can actually be produced in some of those thunderstorms areas. So here's kind of that uh, glance there of some of those estimated rain totals. This green area kind of picking up towards about two, two and a half inches of rainfall and kind of that bluer area, mainly about uh, half of an inch towards about an inch or so. So overall, a lot of folks getting a good soaking of rainfall over the last 24 hours, finally beginning to dry out here as we take a live look at or as we take a look here at our precision radar that those rainy drizzly conditions finally coming to an end. We'll see that uh, occluded front kind of pushing off towards the east. That was what created all that rain activity in our area earlier this morning. Now, as high pressure slowly starts to creep into the area, we're seeing that cloud cover uh, slowly begin to decrease as well. So some good news there heading into this evening. Kind of a quieter day, a bit breezy though. If you head off towards the lake right now, live look at our Lewis Donato camera in Lake City uh, from Pearl of the Lake. Continuing to see that cloud cover remaining pretty persistent in the area, but it is going to decrease Right now in Rochester, cloudy conditions, winds out of the west are on 16 miles per hour, temperature at 55 degrees, so cool for our for a fall like day such as today. Temperatures right now sitting into the mid to upper 50s, 57 in Austin and Mason City, Albert Lee at 54 degrees, Winona at 55. Dew points comfortable as well into the upper 40s, lower 50s across the region. And as we look ahead with our future cast, Getting rid of that rain activity as it pushes off towards the east. Cloud cover included for the overnight hours heading into tomorrow. Finally, I think we can put away those rain jackets and break out the sunglasses. Looking to see quiet conditions throughout Sunday. Maybe a few afternoon clouds, but overall looking to stay dry and quiet in our region. Then for Monday, another beautiful day is on tap. A lot more sunshine. Finally, a good break for everybody from that rain. Farmers included heading then into Tuesday. Dry conditions once again and more sunshine is on the way. Tonight, we'll see those clouds continue to decrease, remaining on the seasonable side. Temperatures into the mid 40s, winds dying down as well. In terms of tomorrow, looking to be a beautiful day, maybe a bit breezy. Winds out of the west are on 10 to 15 miles per hour. Temperatures into the lower 60s, beginning to be a bit more seasonal as we look ahead to a beautiful fall week for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Looking to see a lot of sunshine in the region, warming up into the mid 60s by the midweek. In terms of the late week, might have to watch out for some showers to move in. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, I don't want to mention that S word, but could maybe see a few flurries in there. Ooh. But the good news is temperature is <laughs> still too warm. The ground's still too warm. Mm -hmm. So if we do see anything that does fall from the sky, not looking to accumulate. So some good okay. news there. Good news. I'm looking forward to that sunshine stretch. <laughs>